Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Spring Boot series. Um, before we go further, I want to do a quick recap. Uh, until now, um, we have created a controller and a service. And uh, right now we are utilizing a collection uh, a list. Uh, in, in a practical scenario, we are going to have a database here. right? But just to take it slow, we are using a list right now. Uh, and service is querying this list, right? So when we do find all, we get all the videos from the list and send it back to the controller. When we have to get a particular video by title, we search this list and get a particular video object and send it back to the controller, right? So that is good. Now we are able to retrieve videos, but to move further, I think next thing we should do is the ability to add something inside this list, right? Uh, and that's where the post request will come in, in the picture. So we'll be able to add new videos and uh, we'll again utilize the controller, we'll define a post method inside the controller and then controller will pass that request to service and service will further save that particular video object inside the list. Right, so let's look how, uh, let's uh, take a look at in, into the code how can we make that possible? So, so as, as shown in the diagram, we, we have a get mapping which retrieves videos from the collection using uh, video service. Now we are going to create a post mapping, right? So there's a notation for that in Spring Boot called post mapping. Uh, I think name is very self-explanatory and it deals with the post request and we'll create an endpoint called videos and then we'll define we'll define a method and we'll keep it simple public void let's just say um, add videos right and then um, this will take a video object obviously so uh, we probably going to have in as as the project gets bigger we're going to have a you know a DTOs like data transfer objects that you know Okay, as a communication between your server and a client but for now we can just utilize the video uh, bean that we have created before right so as as video uh, object comes in from the client we take that uh, and add it to the uh, list so how do we do that we'll utilize our video service again we'll say video service dot and we just have get videos and get videos by tell what we want we want to have a save video inside our service right um, obviously it's, you can see it's complaining because we don't have a save so let's create a video save method inside video service we'll say public void and I'm just keeping it everything simple and we'll slowly you know make it better uh, I will say save takes in a video object you know and as a video object comes in it's simply add that object inside the list. So our list is videos dot add video, right? So what we have done is if you can see the error just went away. So we just simply have added a video object inside the list, right? So let's rerun our application. It's gonna rerun and then we'll uh, head to the postman we'll try to add a new object and we'll see if that gets uh, you know that new object gets added successfully or not so this should be running now let's head back to postman okay so let's see what we have uh, i'm running a get request now let's see what we have in collection right now so we have two objects let me bring it up we have two videos uh, you know with intro and title chapter 1 now change it to a post post videos and in the body we'll make it raw and we'll have a json and type here from the drop down and we'll create a json right so title and we'll say title equals to new video and say so put comma here and then we'll say new the screen right so I'm trying to add the, this video object and let's post it 
so you can see 200 ok came back and looks like everything just went well let's run the get request again. and then we'll uh, if everything went well in the post request we should see three objects inside the list so here we go intro chapter 1 null null there is some problem right the way we have added that uh, let's see what went wrong let's go back uh, so video came back here okay so I think what's happening here is we need to we are not validating right so let's let's oh I know what happened we have to we have, so I remember in the get request we use this annotation request param right so request param is uh, uh, whenever we are supplying you know a title with the request that was the parameter to the request and to to read that param we were using request param annotation that's supplied by Spring Boot right similarly when we are sending a body we need to send uh, we need to use a, a different annotation so that Spring can that annotation right Spring can read that object so we'll say request body right so when we do that Spring will be able to identify the video object and it will it will able to identify it's a JSON it will do that automatically for us right so let's rerun that and once it comes back up it should be able to uh, read that JSON and able to add that right let's back let's run the get request again should be okay server is not is not up yet all right server is up so we have two objects right let's go to post and let, let's post a uh, another object new video new description let's send it we'll see 200 okay well and good let's go to get and then rent again here we go so now instead of seeing null we can see new video and new description so uh, you know me missing this annotation um, was actually good because we could we could see what happens when we don't define this annotation so this annotation will uh, will be very helpful to read the entire object you know it's in the JSON format for you you don't have to use any library for that it comes out of the box from from, from Spring Boot and it simply adds that into the video service